Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a calculated field in a pivot table. This was a question that was posed by one of my subscribers and so I thought about creating a short video. So what is a calculated field? Basically it performs calculations on the sum of other pivot table fields. Now let's go ahead and create one. I have, let's say I have a table, this very short and brief table here. Uh, sales people names, uh, what are their sales? Now let's make those are dollars. So let's say, what are those people's sales? What are their costs? And let's put that into a pivot table. So I just select in any cell in the table. Use the alt keyboard shortcut Alt N V T. Bring up brings up the create pivot table dialog box, and I'll just take whatever it gives me. It's selected my range here, and I'll put that on a new worksheet. Click OK. Let me go ahead and increase this size a little bit. Now let's say that I just want to have the name here in the row labels and in my values field I want to create a field that says what is the net amount, maybe basically sales minus cost. So in the pivot table I already have it selected. I can go under the options tab under the calculations group where it says field items and sets. Go ahead and select the calculated field option. So that brings up the insert calculated field dialog box. Let's say I want to I'll give it a name. The field's name will be the field will be called net, so the net amount. And it's gonna calculate the sales minus the cost. If I had additional fields that I want to enter, I can just click add or add it and then this dialog box will stay open. But since that's the only one I want to add, I'll just go ahead and click OK. Oh, by the way, there's another way to, you can either double click it to add in here or insert field. So let me just go ahead and show you that example. If I wanted to just click that and, and click insert field, it shows up there. And then I do the minus sign, I can just double click cost and it'll show up there. So after I click OK, since that's the only one I wanted there, the net field will show up. And it puts it into the uh, values area. Now, one thing to note about uh, calculate fields, you, you can only you can't refer to totals or subtotals. You can't refer to cells or names of cells. Uh, that's that's a restriction with calculated fields. Now, let's say now it showed me my my calculations. So just to double check, let's see that I have it here. I'll go ahead and do equal sales minus cost. Enter. Uh, double click the fill handle to bring it down. Let's say uh, Jane made $268. If I go back here, Jane has $268. So that's a calculated field. So another way to use a calculated field, and it kind of poses another question, is can you cr create, uh, can you put text in here, in the, uh, in the summation field here, the values field here? And the short answer is maybe. Now let's say that I wanted to put some text here to indicate if the salesperson got, will get a bonus and that's based off of uh, sales that are over $200. What I would do is create a calculated field. So I'll go ahead and go under the options, uh, calculate field again, and I'll go ahead and create another calculated field. I'll call this one bonus. So in here, I can actually, in addition to creating a formula that uses multiplication, division, subtraction, addition. I can actually use one of the many of the different Excel formulas. So in here I'm going to use an if statement. So if the sales amount, if that is over, if that's greater than, let's say if it's greater than 200, now let's just say 100. If the sales are greater, well 200 is fine I guess. If the sales are greater than 200, so the big I'll give it a 1. If it's less than 200, I give it a 0. So the way that the if statement works is if this if this is true after the comma, what should we output if it's true? Well, we're going to output a 1. If it's false, we'll output a 0. All right? So I'll put close parentheses there and I'll go ahead and click okay. And we'll see that we have the all ones. I can just rename this one. I'll just say, I'll delete that. I'll say bonus. And I'll press enter. And you see that it'll give me error because it says the pivot table name already exists. The bonus name already exists. Uh, so I'll just, a little trick here is just to put a little space. 
press enter and it will take that so everybody's getting a bonus well let's see anybody uh, under two hundred dollars no let's just make let's pick on Jane again sorry Jane let's say Jane had sales of 199 and if we give her 199 her cost would be negative so let's just give her maybe one hundred dollars had a one hundred dollars cost so she didn't make over two hundred dollars in sales now if I refresh the table after I modified that let's go ahead and refresh the table I can just right click and click refresh and we'll see Jane is zero here so in a way this is just basically kind of binary true false ones for true zeros for false so did they get a bonus yes yes and no but how do we turn this into text well the way, the way to do it is to create a custom format so I go ahead and right click that go under value field settings and in the value field settings go under number format so in the format cells we're going to go and create a custom format now the way that the formats work here is it's divided into basically three sections uh, it, there's three sections of the number format uh, one indicates one one is the format for positive numbers there's another format for negative numbers uh, zero values and text and those are separated by semicolons. So for example, we see here the way that it's number format is the first one is going to be for the positive, the second one is for the negative. So what we're going to do is create one for what we want to see in text. And so what we can do is we can say for the positive number, which it's going to be a one here, which is only two, there's only two 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 choices, one the other one is zero. So we're going to say the positive number, we're going to say you get a bonus All right actually I don't need to I don't think I need to put quotes in there let me see I don't think actually, no actually I think uh, well I think I do actually well we'll see if that error is up semicolon so the next value is going to be a negative number we don't have any negative number so we can just put another semicolon to separate that oops and then our third section is going to be the zero value. So the, we have one zero value here, but we're going to say no bonus in quotes. OK, so now we have created our custom format. I'll go ahead and click OK, click OK. And now you see that we do have the option to put text in the pivot table. Although you can't use this in calculations, you can use it to kind of highlight some things and this is being done with a calculated field now let's say we don't want this calculated field anymore uh, what you can do you can delete or modify it so if we click in here and we go to options we go to field sets go to calculated field you have the option to either uh, delete it or modify it so let's say I don't want it anymore let's say I want to modify it and, and make it if it's greater than 20 maybe greater than maybe greater than 300 then they get a bonus so that modifies it click OK oops maybe it's greater than, <laughs> it wouldn't show let's make it greater than uh, 50 let's go back there uh, we'll go to the bonus make it greater than 50 modify that click OK now you get a bonus let's say we don't want this anymore so we can get, just go ahead and delete it go into calculate field select the field bonus and then click delete click OK and now it's gone All right it's gone from there so that's your basic overview of a calculated field hope that helps thanks for watching